to Kmart to get this friggin' Hornet spray or a Yellow Jacket spray or a fucking Carpenter Bee Carpenter Bee spray because I have a problem with Carpenter Bees. And if you don't know what a Carpenter Bee is, it's a big, giant, black, shiny fucking bee, and it makes a lot of noise, and it's very disturbing when one's in your house. So I go to Kmart and buy this crap, because that's what it is, and uh, I had a carpenter bee in my basement, and it was so big, it had an ass with hair on it, and a green crew cut, okay? So I sprayed this particular brand, I don't know what it's called, and um, I shook it up real good, and uh, it wouldn't fucking kill the thing. It would not kill the thing. The thing was just, uh, I shook it up and it, all this foam came out, I sprayed insect shit all over my, all over the place because it was above on the light, and uh, the, I, I never seen nothing like it. I, I was, I'd be better off using hairspray. That's how much this stuff is horrible. This stuff sucks. So, I mean, the thing was, was eventually fell down and was buzzing and was buzzing and buzzing and buzzing for like 48 minutes. It sounded like a fucking Turkish vibrator, and the thing would not friggin' die. And then it finally, finally, slowly passed away. So if you're getting attacked or you have a severe problem with bees, uh, don't use this kind. Does this, this shit's worthless. Anyway, I figured I'd let you in on that story. Rough day today. Well, uh, the first thing I want to show you before I show you the Glock 43 is my Beretta M9A1. Now, there is a person that is extremely talented at making grips, G10 grips, for pretty much almost any gun out there. I'll leave his uh, link under the video. Let's get center here. For instance, this is my Beretta M9A1 with Wilson Combat grips on it from Wilson Combat. And as you can see how beautiful they are. Look how beautiful they are. Okay. Just to show you how good this guy is, I put his grip on the other side of the gun. And the gun's been safety checked, so don't tell me I'm muzzle sweeping myself. Just want to get you a good look at that. All right, now I am going to swing it around, and you're going to see his grips. Look at that. They are probably the nicest grips I've ever seen that somebody, you know, custom makes in a shop. I don't know where he does it, or at home. This is what he made for my Beretta M9A1. Um, I am very impressed. It's G10 material. These are called, uh, the uh, I think... Uh, golf ball style grips and it has the dark black grain in it just like the Wilson Combat grips and um, they fit just as nice and they look just as nice and they are just as nice no idea what the price is um, I will just put the link down there and if you guys have an exotic gun or want your gun to look really beautiful and you want to get a set of beautiful G10 exotic grips uh, this is the guy to go to okay so I just wanted to show you that up on the gun real close, uh, how good his work is. Very, very, very nice. Okay, and then here's the Wilsons again. The only difference is the Wilsons has, a, has the medallion. So, the name of the grip company is, if I'm saying it right, L-O-K Grips. Is that a lock? Or a look? Or lock? It's one of those, okay? I would say lock grips, and here's the, check this out, here's the back side of it. Even the back side is clean and beautifully milled. Looks like they're laser milled or laser etched. The milling is just so clean. So I want to thank um, Jason for uh, sending me these. It took a little while because he's getting set up, but he's all set up, he's ready to go. And he has them in, 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 you know, all different colors, all different kinds of wood grains, all stuff like that. 
Um, what I got to say about the Glock 43 is, well, let's bring out some other, other guns in its same class, like the Smith & Wesson Shield. Same class, I say the same class because it's the same size. Okay, same size, it's the same caliber. Uh, Smith & Wesson Shield is a nice gun. It's definitely proven, it's very reliable. It's a high round count gun, it can be shot a lot uh, without it breaking down for a small gun. And it's definitely proven it's a good gun. Um, okay. I just like, I, I, I'm a Glock guy because I like Glock's design better. Uh, so, to me, uh, the edge of the Glock 43 is this, 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 just a design, period. Uh, to me, it has it over pretty much any other polymer gun because, like I said, there's no roll pins. I can replace any part in two seconds. As long as the gun's like that, to me, it's always going to have an edge. Because I am completely in control and in charge of this gun. Now, this gun holds one round more. I'm sure Glock will come out with extended magazines to hold another round. So, I don't even care about that. Um, I don't know. To me, I'd rather have a gun that holds one less bullet and have a better design. Because to me, I, I, don't, I don't like to say better. I prefer the Glock's design. I'm talking about the way it's put together more than any other uh, polymer gun out there because it's just it's awesome. It's awesome. Um, this is a, a this holds seven plus one. The Glock holds six plus one. But I'm sure that'll be corrected extremely fast, very very soon. So the Smith's nice. The Smith's got a, a, a decent trigger. Um, like I said, it just this is the shield. Uh, it, it doesn't have nearly the clean reset, nearly the, uh, the positive pushing this way that the, that, that the Glock has. Okay, The Glock just has that classic trigger, um, has a fantastic reset, and it's, it feels lighter to me. Okay, Of course, the gun's clear. I just cleaned it. But like I said, what, what the Glock has is that, that awesome reset. It's clean, it don't drag, it don't feel gritty, don't feel sandpapery, it doesn't feel like it's, like I said, being dragged out. It, it, it pushes out clean and the trigger resets, the take up is clean, there's no grinding, and then it breaks clean. Bam! And believe it or not, that makes a huge difference when you're shooting pinpoint bullseye shooting, which is something I'm into, okay? If you're just self-defense shooting, taking fast shots and self-defense drills, uh, one gun might not make a difference than the other as far as the trigger goes. But when I'm when I'm shooting slow shots and I want to pinpoint and try to hit that X, I'm going to be more accurate with the Glock 43, which is proven because I shot the Glock 43. Um, Ron was nice enough to let me shoot it, and uh, I was shooting, drilling the target, dead nuts with it. Now. What I will say is, the Smith & Wesson Shield has less recoil. That's because, to me, the way I'm feeling them, the Shield definitely has a heftier slide. It feels like the Shield's got a little more weight to it. Uh, even um, when you take the guns apart and you just hold the frames up without the slides, just frame to frame, you can feel the Shield has, has, has a little more weight than the Glock. So, I mean, that could be a positive or a negative. The positive is it, it absorbs recoil a little bit better than the Glock 43. The negative is it's heavier. Okay. Um, now here's my other point with the Glock 43. Although it does have a little bit more recoil, it's a snappy gun. It, it, it barks pretty good. I'm not going to say it doesn't. But it didn't affect me shooting accurately. So does that still come into play? I'm going to say no. If I'm shooting extremely accurate with a gun, and if it has a, has a little more recoil than I like, obviously there's not a problem because the bullets are going where I want them to go. So, um, size comparison, it's pretty much the same size as the shield. Um, the slide by eyeball, I might be wrong, looks a tad slimmer than the shield, just like a, a hair, not much. Um, I don't like rubbing guns together and scratching them up. But it's, it's pretty much identical. The shield's a little bit taller, maybe by an eighth of an inch. 
So the, the Shield is a little bit of a bigger gun, not much. The, the Glock's a little slimmer, it's a little more petite this way, and believe me, all that comes into play when you're carrying. So this is going to be a little bit more comfortable carrying, especially in the waistband, than the Shield. Now, I carry right now, there's another good gun to compare this to, is the Walther PPS. Damn, look at all that dust. And um, the Walther PPS is in the same class. Let me make this safe because this gun is hot. I just shot another 50 rounds through this. So got 450 through this. Fantastic uh, reliability and accuracy. Um, okay. All right, we'll leave that out. <clears throat> now the, sh uh, the, uh, the PPS is the same thing. It's a little more blockier than the Glock. It's just a touch, a, like a sixteenth of an inch thicker than the Glock. I'm talking about vertical up and down. As far as slimness, actually, the PPS looks a little bit slimmer. But that's what the PPS is known for. It's famous for its extreme slim design. But it's, it's at the top of the slide, it's probably slimmer than the Glock. But as the slide goes down, as you can see, it tapers out like a pyramid. It's about the same size as the Glock, so it's it's silly, silliness. All right, uh, the Walther is like the Shield; it's a heftier gun than the Glock, so it's going to absorb recoil better. Okay, so I've shot all three guns because I've had all three guns, and the best target that I've had. Um, I hate to say it. Now let me put ten rounds through this, but. This one has, um, the Glock 43 has had the best group out of um, uh, the, the PPS and the Shield. The PPS, I've been shooting really, really good with it. I'm loving the target and real tight groups, and I love this gun. Okay, I'm, I'm really impressed with it, and I'm, I'm so glad I got it. But if I'm going to add another gun in this class, to keep both and carry this one that day, this one that day, because I don't like to have a lot of little guns. I'm definitely want to go. I'm definitely getting a Glock 43. I would definitely carry this once in a while and definitely carry this once in a while. Um, but this is definitely a little heavier than this. This is going to be a little easier to carry. Another good thing is uh, Ron put um, 200 rounds straight through the gun. All different kinds of brands of ammo. All different kinds of st um, styles of hollow points. And sure enough, just like a Glock, it ran like a clock. Extracted perfectly every time. No jams, nothing. Uh, we even tried to limp wrist it. Ron even held it incorrectly with, with his uh, web of his hand, not in the grip tang, low like this, and loose, holding it kind of limp wristy, and it would not fail. He could not get the gun to fail. So, so far, from what I can see, the Glock 43 is a great gun so far. Uh, all the videos that I've seen and friends of mine have had it, no one has witnessed any kind of malfunction. So to me, it's so far, the way it's looking, uh, the Glock 43 is even more successful reliability-wise than the Glock 42 at first impression because when the Glock 42 came out, there was some issues with it. And then they fixed it, and it ran. They run great. So far with the 43, so far uh, there's no issues at all. It just came out new, running great. And uh, what can I say? I, I want one. I want to get one. Well, sorry about that. We don't want to disrespect Frank. There you go. Sorry about that, buddy. I just noticed that that video is lying down. So anyway, I don't want this video to get too long. A uh, Glock 43, you get two magazines. You'll get one magazine uh, with an extended pinky, you know, for your pinky extended uh, floor plate, and the other magazine will be a flush floor plate. I'm sure Glock will come out with the floor plate that's solid on the bottom to get another round in. Then it'll be seven plus one, just like the Walther PPS, just like the Smith and Western Shield, and it'll be equal equal to those guys that way. Um, Another place where Glock is shaving weight off compared to these guns is its magazine well and frame is a little thinner gauged. 
all the way around here is a lot slimmer than both of these guns. So that all adds up, all them little thousands and all those little ounces, and you put it in one to one big ball, it's a significant weight difference when you hold the guns. You really, you really can feel it. So, um, it takes down just like any other Glock. Boom. Same, same way. It's a part real nice and easy. Same kind of recoil spring. It's all the same. It's like the Glock 42. This is a Glock 42, but bigger. Okay, that's what this is. I'd rather say that than it's a shrunk down. Uh, Typical Glock, when you go traditional Glock, that's the word I was looking for. But it's not, it's more like a, a fattened up 42 because of the, um, the, the, the plunger, the firing pin block plunger and all is the 42 style, shaped like a screwdriver. It's not like, you know, the Glock 26. So, the trigger's pretty nice. It's got a, a hard click like the 42, which will make you definitely dip the muzzle, but. You know, after like 400, five, 400 rounds, I don't know, 1,000 rounds, that'll soften up a little. I'm sure it'll come out with a 3.5 connector, and that'll take care of that. But as it is right now, I was putting bullet on top of bullet at 8 yards right on the X. The first time I pulled the trigger, first three times, I was low around 6 o'clock. I was, you know, then I took a deep breath, adjusted my finger, and then bam, 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 and I was just... Impressed every time I pulled the trigger, I was like, I was impressed with it. That's that's where I want to be. That's what my target. That's how I want my target to look. And uh, the Glock 43 is awesome. So that's it. That's all I can tell you. So let me know what you guys think. And uh, I don't know how much these are. These you can get these from either 479 to all the way up to God knows 700 dollars. Depends on what gun shop is going to decide to gouge them. And what gun shop's going to decide to be fair with them? You know double action. We don't do that. We don't raise our prices because a gun's hard to get. We just don't do it. That's one thing that Mike does not do. So if you want to see it next to a Glock 26, there's a way significant difference. The Glock 26 is longer. It's fatter. It's chunkier. But um, it, holds, it does hold a lot more ammunition. So that, you know, that's up to you to decide. This is a nice light summer carry gun. And uh, my advice to you is have both, like, like we all do. Have a 26, have a 43, have a 19, have a 17. What the hell, why not, right? All right, guys, hope you liked the video. And uh, I think that's it. Talk to you soon.